French President Emmanuel Macron has confirmed that he will attend a 75th Republic Day Parade in New Delhi on 26 January 2024. Indian Navy destroyer INS Momugao has reached the India-bound merchant vessel which was attacked by an Iranian drone last night, and is checking all the vessels operating in the area, as the drone might have been launched from a nearby vessel. The first module of the Indian Space Station is set to launch by 2028 and a fully operational space station will be ready by 2035. The Indian President, the Supreme Commander of the Indian Armed Forces, witnessed a firepower exercise involving various weapon platforms in Pokhran, Rajasthan. Bharat Dynamics Limited is confident to secure export orders for its Sastra Mark I air-to-air -air missile and smart anti-airfield weapon from several countries operating the Russian Su-30 and MiG-29 fighter jets. Ordnance Factory Medoc has successfully conducted annual flotation trials of two brand new and one overhauled BMP-2 infantry combat vehicle, that signifies operational readiness for amphibious warfare. Saga Defense Engineering has successfully demonstrated the capabilities of its quadcopter drone from the Indian Navy's aircraft carrier INS Vikrant, that will be used for surveillance, signals intelligence, target acquisition, and maritime domain awareness. Industry sources have said that the Indian Air Force and DRDO are finalizing the configuration of the remotely piloted strike aircraft program, and it will require dedicated funding of 8,000 crore rupees, that will cover the development of two variants, one for strike missions and another for air dominance. The Indian Ministry of Defence has revealed the successful flight test of long-range anti-ship missile, that is capable of engaging warships at extended distances. The long-range anti-ship missile will have 1,500 km range land-based variant and 1,000 km range submarine-launched variant, that adds to its operational flexibility, as it will allow the Navy to operate beyond enemy air defence zones. The missile's quasi-ballistic trajectory will enable it to soar to high altitudes, before homing in on its target at high speeds. This unique flight profile will enable it to evade enemy defenses, and strike with remarkable accuracy. Ojas Aerospace has unveiled its Sarang Lloyd ammunition, which is a fixed-wing micro-UAV tactical strike system suitable for a variety of mission requirements. It is electrically powered and has a wingspan of 1,500 mm, that offers impressive lift and endurance. It has a speed of 120 km per hour, an impressive 30-minute flight endurance, and maintains a lightweight 6 kg takeoff weight. It has a wide 30 km working radius ensuring comprehensive battlefield coverage, and a service ceiling of 1,500 m, that enhances reconnaissance and target engagement capabilities. India has entered talks with British engine manufacturer Rolls-Royce, to power its upcoming second aircraft carrier with the MT-30 marine gas turbine, and this potential shift marks a significant departure from the American General Electric LM2500 engines that currently powers INS Vikrant. The MT-30 boasts superior fuel efficiency compared to the LM2500, but the MT-30 is 1.5 times costlier than the LM2500. The MT-30 also offers the potential to seamlessly integrate high-energy weapons into future destroyers and frigates, and Hindustan Aeronautics and Rolls-Royce have already signed a memorandum of understanding to establish packaging installation marketing and services support for MT-30 marine engines in India. Today's Top 3 Comments